Pinas. It's me again, Jennifer, your facilitator for Enterprise Architecture. Today, we will tackle what Enterprise Architecture is. During our class orientation, we have defined the Enterprise Architecture as a framework of principles, guidelines, and standards which direct the design, construction, and deployment of information systems throughout the company. These information systems consist of different components like the software, the hardware, data, and people that work together just to achieve a specific goal. And its implementation should be anchored to the vision of the company. Aligning the information system output to the company's vision could be a challenge to some software development team who are trained to develop commercialized and market-ready systems and are later on assigned to work for an enterprise. Although companies with similar activities normally would have the same business processes, the same specification in terms of component requirement, however, there are companies administrators who want to personalize the product based on their preferences generally speaking aligning the products or the product to the firm's vision is essential since it could be the basis of the company to provide quality effective and efficient services to the stakeholders Architecture are usually high-level views of the system, and, is, and it is typically made up of three things. First, a picture of the current state. Second, a blueprint or a vision for the future, and a roadmap on how to get there. The current state of the firm pertains to the present set of circumstances or the value of the company based on the asset debt, cash flow, and goodwill. In the perspective of the IT professional, this current state deals with the current capabilities of the company's infrastructures, business processes, including the current strategies towards achieving the vision. So this is referred to us as the as-is system. Blueprint or vision for the future is what the company imagined or hoped to be like. It tells the world what the organization would like to achieve over a long period of time. This vision is practically not similar to the vision in the system's developer's perspective. The blueprint or the to-be system is established to support the company's existential vision and mission, in which the company is known for and are published to legal documents and official virtual links. So for the company to shift their information and communications technology or ICT systems from the SES to the to be, the developers should deploy a roadmap on how to get there. This contains have a plan with a series of activities or target activities to help the company on the transformation. Enterprise architecture is projected as a multi-purpose medication that cures the organization from all its pain and problems. It comes in many flavors. We have the marketing tactics and social talks, or just a means to brag about one's knowledge in the different frameworks, sometimes an academic research. So as a result, some would become skeptical as to the real meaning and the purpose of this field, not only for the naive observers, but also for the mature designers. In implementing enterprise architecture, the people involved handling different roles may potentially experience both benefits and shortcomings. That is why EA should be organized in a more effective way, which includes involvement of all stakeholders in the decisions, the end users, and developers working out of an elite inner circle. The EA strategy also should follow a more gradual way of operating and drop needless bureaucracy. In this 
section, you will be presented with different techniques and how you can apply EA efficiently and effectively to an organization. Also, you are encouraged to communicate with a different with different stakeholders, lead the corporate development of the company, considering the business and technological aspect of the industries for you to model the best proven architecture for an enterprise.